okay so <clears throat> this question says that suppose <clears throat> the equation x plus y minus 10 is equal to 0 represent the straight line which is perpendicular to the line segment joining a 0 0 and b 3 p okay uh, divide c in the ratio m is to 1 where uh, divides it at c okay, in the ratio this okay right uh, where p and uh, m belongs to the set of real numbers find the value of this okay so let's start so let's let's pick up this x plus y uh, minus 10 is equal to 0 okay let us take it as line uh, let us take it as equation 1 so let us put everything there and we'll get this so slope of that is m1 is minus right by our normal slope uh, slope intercept form we can say this right okay so <clears throat> uh, let's talk something about this b a b right so a is 0 0 and b is what 3 and p okay so slope of a b slope of a b would be nothing but your p minus 0 upon 3 minus 0 which is equal to p by 3 okay so this is the thing now now these two lines are uh, line 1 line 1 and a b are perpendicular right so this way this means m m1 multiplied by m of a b is equal to minus 1 right so this is this is what uh, okay so m1 is minus 1 into p upon 3 is equal to minus 1 so minus minus get cancelled and p is equal to 3 okay so <clears throat> yeah so now we can this erase this p from here and we can write 3 okay right now now let's try to and this m a b is equal to 1 okay so this p is equal to we got as uh, 3 okay now let's try to find the equation find the equation of a b okay let's try to find the equation of a b so we'll get what uh, we'll get 1 x minus 0 is equal to y minus 0 by simple slope and descent form is equal to this this is our equation right put in 1 so let's put this in 1 we'll get uh, we'll get uh, x plus x uh, minus 10 is equal to 0 so 2x is equal to uh, let me check if I'm right yes hmm. 10 and x is equal to 5 this is equal to y so c is uh, c is nothing but c has the coordinates of 5 5 okay so this is what we got now if c is this we need to find m okay we need to find m okay so it is said that a from 0 0 is going up to this b okay this is 3 3 and at c it is divided at c it's being divided okay yeah so this is some point okay let me check hmm. c is some point from which this our, our line 1 is is passing perpendicularly okay this is perpendicularly this line 1 is passing okay so <clears throat> we we should focus on c and this is 1 is m is to 1 uh, the ratio okay the ratio is given as m is to 1 right so let's move forward and just simply solve for this so uh, actually c c we'll get for c that is m 3 m upon m plus 1 uh, and this again we are having there is 3 m plus m plus 1 okay the simple the uh, uh, section formula uh, m uh, m x2 plus n x1 upon m plus n and like that okay so this is equal to uh, this is equivalent to since these are coordinates 5 5 so this can result in 3m upon m plus 1 is equal to 5 and uh, what we are getting we are getting 3m is equal to 5m plus 5 which is nothing but minus 5 by 2 is equal to n okay we will get this here and uh, 2 here so we have to get this now this this is not what we wanted we actually wanted to uh, have the solution have the solution of like this mm, 
yeah we wanted p plus 4 m okay so p is what 3 plus 4 into minus 5 by 2 which is equal to 3 minus 10 which is equal to minus 6. so this is the answer minus okay Yeah, now this question is uh, quite good and uh, interesting one. So let's move ahead and solve this. Okay. Yeah, so let's try to first read what this question says. It says that you've been closely monitoring your bike, uh, bike's mileage recently. Here is a table showing two rows representing the amount paid of fuel uh, in rupees and the corresponding mileage in kilometer. Okay. Consider y to be the amount paid, so this is nothing but your y, and x to be the corresponding mileage, so x is this, and you have noted, the, noted down the distance travelled each time when the fuel meter falls back to a fixed reference mark. Okay. It is predicted that the equation of best fit line is y is equal to 5x minus 22, right? Okay. So, what will be the sum of SSE with respect to, but what is the value of SSE, that is sum squared error, with respect to the best fit line, right? So, since this is our best fit line, that means that sum of the errors which are there, it's it's the lowest, right? So, what what is the formula? It says that uh, sum of all the uh, it says that uh, the formula is we'll sum everything, and it's nothing but the fit value, fit value minus obtained value or the uh, original value we can say obtained value okay obtained value and it's squared and then added with all the observations right so okay so let's first try to understand what this fit value means it says that opt a value obtained through the fit curve or the the best fit line right value by best fit line okay right so let's move ahead and just try to find first the fit values okay fit values for each uh, x okay so y if x is equal to uh, 20 so it's what 5 into 20 5 into 20 minus 22 so it would be your 100 minus 22 this is nothing but your 78 right y when x is equal to 15 is 5 multiplied by 15 minus 22 and this is 75 minus 22 and this is your uh, 53 okay right and y if x is equal to what we are having 16 okay 16 then it is equal to 80 minus 22 which is equal to your uh, 8 and uh, here it becomes 5 right so now next next is this y if x is equal to 25 i think so yep 25 so it would be 125 5 into uh, 25 right minus 22 and it is 103 okay so moving ahead y if x is equal to 14 we are having yes so this is what y is equal to 14 then we will get 70 minus 22 and this is uh, your 48 okay yes now now we have obtained the uh, fit value right so let's let's just subtract the uh, obtained value and just square them and then add them right so 78 minus we are having the obtained value as 80 and its square will be equal to minus 2 square and this is equal to 4 so and this is what this is our 53 right so 53 minus we are having okay 50 
so we'll get 3 squared this is 9 and then 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 yes then it is 58 and from this we are subtracting 60 I think so yes it's 60 so it's minus 2 square 4 right so and then 103 minus 100 and we will square it so we get 3 square 9 and this is 48 minus 50 okay. and we will get it square that is minus 2 square that is 4 ok now let us just sum all of these values which you got 4 plus 9 is 13 13 plus 4 is your uh, 17 and 17 is uh, plus 9 is 26 and 4 33 your answer is 30 ok so answer is answer 30 ok let's move ahead and let's solve our last question it's ok a rock is thrown in a pond and creates circular ripples whose radius increases at the rate of 0 0.2 meter per second radius increase rate is 0 0.2 meter per second okay uh, what is the value of a by pi a by pi a by pi where a is the area in square meters uh, after 5 seconds okay so right so let so we have to actually uh, we can it's it's i think that it's quite uh, an easy type of question but uh, you can form an equation also right so let's let t be the number of seconds in which we want are they so radius radius actually would be r or this is the radius at t is equal to uh, 0 0.2 multiplied by t right and the area it's actually the function of t since it's at this time t so it's nothing but your pi r squared that is uh, pi 0 0.2 into t squared right so this is our area so uh, so we have to find after 5 seconds so a5 would be nothing but uh, 5 uh, sorry pi multiplied by let's try 2 by 10 instead of this squared into t it's 5 so it's 25 right and since we wanted uh, a by pi actually so we'll divide it by pi and pi pi gets cancelled so we are having this uh, 4 upon 100 into 25 so it's 100 by 100 is equal to 1 so your answer is 1 okay answer answer is your 1 okay so that's all thank uh, so Thanks a lot and happy learning.